welcome to my channel today i'm going to be teaching you guys how to make this top it's kind of giving you know mermaid fairy whatever i just think it is so pretty a little mesh and it's not a tie in the back this one my first not tie in the back ones which i'm so proud of so let's get started you're going to need some yarn wait for you can see how neatly wrapped mine is and a four millimeter hook And then, of course, some scissors. You're going to chain the length covering the front, the whole front, and some back. So right now we're starting by making the, it's not necessarily the cups, but it's like covering our cup area. So you just chain the front. And I just use my own body to measure. You can see we're just covering that top area. <laughs> and I'm not covering my back. I leave a lot of back open to stretch, but um, you still cover the whole front. So I chain an extra one so that we work in the second chain from the hook and put a half double crochet into each chain. Next, I chain one and turn my work, and then half double crochet in each stitch for 15 rows. 15 rows is what covered my whole area. You want to make sure you have coverage, but if you need more or less coverage, just add more rows because this is the height of the top cup area. Now we're adding the stretchy, it's like a ribbing stitch, it's used for ribbing a lot, but it just adds that stretch with being able to get it over ahead at the same time. So you're going to chain one and turn your work to the side. So we're going to be working on the side and put a single crochet in each of the little gaps. Now you can chain one and turn your work once you finish the end of the row. And now we're going to just be working in the back stitch of the single crochet. And what that means is you can see all our little V's, sorry I'll show you in a second, all our little V's and you're only going to be working in the one farthest from you. So instead of going under both, you can see me pull it out, you're just going to be working in the back one. And just single crochet is normal, so you just pull it over, yarn over once, and then yarn through the two. And you're just going to do this for the rest of the row. 
Repeat the same pattern doing the back loop zone crochet until it covers and fits around your whole top area. You want it to fit with the stretch though so it's not loose because when you actually put it on the half double crochet it stretches a little bit so you don't want it to be too loose so you're pulling it up all the time so you just want to make sure it fits with the stretch. Now line up the two sides so that it makes a circle. Make sure it's not twisted. And you can just slip stitch it, but to really get that clean look. So a slip stitch would just be you insert your hook and then pull it through. But I like to go through my single crochet first. So I'm going to show you that here in a second. So now you insert it in the back loop of your single crochets and then insert it to the side. Pull through the first two and then pull through the two. So you're going to continue this stitching it together for the rest of the row. Um, but it's going to be tighter so you kind of want to stretch it as you go so that it lines up nicely and that you don't have too little and uneven this in the end. Now cut your yarn and tie the ends off and we're going to get started on the mesh body part. Now you have to count where the middle of the half double crochets are. In order to do so, you can count all the stitches and then just divide the number by two and that will be your middle or if you remember, just divide it by two. Insert your hook there and this is kind of where the front opening belly showing part is. So I start with a slip knot and I insert my hook and just pull that through. Insert your yarn and then chain three and double crochet in the second stitch from the chain. So not the first one, you're going to skip one and double crochet in that one. Once you double crochet in there, you chain one and then skip a stitch and double crochet. Repeat this double crochet chain one pattern for the rest of the row.
Once you've done the first row, chain three and turn your work. In order to get that diagonal look, I skip the first gap because we're going to be going into the gaps and I go into the second one and I put a double crochet in there. And then I chain one and go into the next gap with a double crochet. And you repeat this for 14 more rows, 15 decrease rows total. done our decrease rows so I like to add some normal ones at the end so you just chain three and instead of skipping the first one the first gap you go into the first gap now if you want a different height of the mesh like how long you want the top to be shorter or longer this is the height so you can kind of measure against your body if you want to have more or less rows depending on your preference And now you have finished your top. Comment down below if you made it. I love it when people actually make stuff on my tutorials. All done and thank you so much for watching. If you want to see more, subscribe to my channel. I hope you have a great rest of your day. And um, bye!